I can't remember a time when I didn't want to be a vet. Certainly from a young age, I used to look after pet guinea pigs. And I remember taking um, my guinea pigs sometimes when they were sick to our local vet. And uh, his name was Dr. Clark. I was just a kid bringing these guinea pigs into the, the hospital, but he would be kind enough to give us medications. And um, as I grew, I'd often ask them if I could go and spend some time at the local hospital and just watch them doing surgeries. And I loved seeing what they did for the animals. I used to uh, rehabilitate some injured ones and one in particular there was a, a poor shingleback lizard that had had an accident with a car and I looked after that for a poor thing for a couple of years. I really enjoyed um, looking after animals from an early age. Being a practice owner is a whole different ball game. You're usually juggling the patient's needs, the client's needs and the staff needs. I enjoy it. I enjoy being a practice owner and I love being in a position of leadership in our industry where we actually have the opportunity to help change our industry and the opportunity to help our veterinarians through um, what's kind of a tough period in our veterinary industry as, as we know. A number of vets leaving the industry, there's a shortage of supply and uh, to support our veterinarians and our team through troubled times. And it's kind of exciting. I like the challenge and uh, I enjoy being able to innovate and to give our vets a amazing place to work. I remember a, an interesting case and his name was Bailey. He was a, a Labrador and he came in uh, with probably one of the worst cases of uh, snake bite I'd seen. His kidneys were pretty much non-working. His uh, numbers were all over the place and he, he was heading for death's door very quickly. And I had made the mistake of thinking, oh, I'll just maybe put him on some fluids and I'm pretty sure he's gonna go to heaven. The owners really emphasized to me, they wanted to pull Bailey through no matter what. They want the best of care for Bailey. I should too, I'm a vet and I love animals. I should be putting in my top effort to pull him through. And I changed that little mindset a bit from um, thinking it may have been a lost cause to doing my part to make sure that he recovered. It was very touch and go and I put in everything I could to pull him through and he did the rest. And it was such a joy. And I think the thing that really hit me was two weeks later he came back into the hospital and despite everything that I'd done to him, you know, needles and everything, he just came up and gave me the biggest lick and um, snuggle uh, I've ever had from, <laughs> from a patient. I feel that we are actually here as a, on a mission. Um, where a lot of the work we do is with a number of rescue groups in town and locally in the region. I've done work that I've never been able to do before and I've been able to do uh, see some miracles come through our hospital just because we cared and we gave it our best. We've actually been lucky enough to be awarded a number of awards this year. We received Lincoln Institute's Best Led Practice. We received the Veterinary Business Group Practice of the Year and we've received our ASAV accredited Hospital of Excellence. We're the only hospital to receive that uh, as a new um, accreditation in 2021. And we're so proud of these achievements, but they're really just a reflection of everything that we've been trying to do, um, not only in our hospital, but in our industry. Our ability to pay our vets more, our ability to provide safe, and secure workplace and culture for them. Our ability to provide a competent and capable workforce that is able to just leverage um, a lot of the stuff that vets just don't need to be doing. And our team love it. They love being involved with the patient's care. They love being there to help our patients. And they're highly capable at doing a number of things um, that vets just don't need to do. So it's very exciting.